Hi everyone, Aldvar here and welcome to this Let's Play. Well, finally made it. It's time we uh, take our levels up. So yeah, be hitting level 30. Basically, I'm going to be able to level all the way up to the top because I already have my legendary XP from uh, my past life. So yeah, well, this is it. Final, uh, final level up. Get a whole bunch of extra HP and precision. And yeah, legendary. Uh, shouldn't be surprising to you that they, uh, for now, I'm just going to be taking uh, extra HP. I'll probably change this up later, but for now, yeah, just more HP, better. That's it, finished. And final level is going to be my final uh, upgrade in strength. Okay, that's it. There, we're, there we are. Fully leveled up. Of course, now I've got to get all my gear and all my stuff. But uh, for now, I'm pretty set up. Just uh, need to activate precision, increase my hit chance, and my chance to bypass fortification. Well, now that we've got that out of the way, and we've uh, got our leveling up, so... Basically, now I've got to finish my leveling process. And for that, well, I need to max out all my favor. I want to get all the stuff from all the different patrons and get all, you know. So basically, when I was leveling up, I took uh, every quest that had uh, only an epic, so I had a regular and epic version. I did a regular version. So now I've got a whole bunch of things that are still left that I didn't, I skipped on the way up. So like, um, there's a few out in Shavarath I'm missing, and a whole bunch of like heroic raids. So yeah, there's a few things, but the ones I want to focus on this time are the ones that I tried and failed because they were super annoying. So uh, one of them was uh, next to uh, wherever it's called, the uh, Sands of Manectrum. There's a uh, where is it? Is this it? Desert Cavern. I failed this quest like three or four times. One time I failed it three seconds before the end of the quest. So yeah, this is like super annoying and I really need to get this off the list. It's like depressingly annoying to fail it so many times. Uh, but at least I'll have Hirelings this time. And Cursed Crypt. Oh man, this one was also really tough. And yeah, so finally I'll be able, I should be able to do it without any problem. Uh, let's see, any other ones that are like really crazy? Oh, yeah, I know another one. Um, there's one, where is it? Finding the path? Whatever, it's called finding the path, but basically it's, again, you have to protect your own, uh, to protect your sphere in the middle. It's on here, it's some place here. Whatever, fine, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna start with Curse Crypt, because I really want to finish the, the Necro, uh, the Necro quests. I'm gonna have to work on my, uh, gear for this character. But that's uh, another whole, uh, what's it called, video. Well, shortest way is this one. Mouse for Harlan. Yeah, should be able to do it. Hopefully pretty fast. We should have a talisman in here. This is level nine, yeah. We need to go here. Okay, so here we go on Elite. Yeah, so this quest is a timed quest. Generally speaking, I'm not a very big fan of timed quests, but whatever. Assault lies 
the soldier's eyes begin to look high above, a sinister haze pulses with an eerie green light. Mona, a lost soul, rises through the floor. So we need to get this. these two souls. We're going to go and open up two different gates in two different places. That's like one of the gimmicks in this quest that there's these souls, whatever, they allow you to get through places that would otherwise be locked. So this soul is going to go through the gate over here and go pull the lever over there. Yeah. An altar burns bright at the end of this hall. Where you open this up is you kill this guy, the keeper. That like opens a path. Yeah, so we need the guy to come open up the gate over here. And for him to open up the gate out here, we first need to find a key on one of the two sides. A specter is trapped within rings of Maldetto's powerful will-breaking magic. Now there's another fail state in this quest. If you kill too many silver flame, uh, what's it called? Um, silver flame uh, guardians, whatever, you'll fail the quest. Which is a, a serious problem for me. Tickles your ear. These are the Western cloisters. It's a serious problem because there's a good chance that like an effect like Consecrate will go off and kill them all for me. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Maldetto, Maldetto, Maldetto. If this is the key, well, that was the luckiest I could have possibly been. You can open the Spectre's prison. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to risk opening up any of the other rooms. I already have what I want. Back over here, get the door. A brimstone gatekeeper, warden of the spectre. The spectres flow through the crypt, screeching with centuries. Okay, so now these spectres are gonna come out and they're gonna open up the way for me. Yeah, and here we go. As long as I don't get trolled by, uh, yeah, we got precise shot on. Okay, let's hope for the best. Several silver flame adherents stand here, worshiping the vampire of curse. Got him. Yes, well, they are free from him now. it's definitely much easier. We can kill him, kill him just a few shots. He doesn't heal up. Super annoying when he does. Well, side one done. Let's move on to side two. Basically, I need to open up this thing. We open up that side, we know open up this side. Anyways, thank God I don't have to go through all these different rooms and check out each one individually just to find the... Uh, your ear. Just to find the chest. These are the eastern cloisters. Well, here's the shrine. So, just in case you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. 
This area over here can break and you can drop down here. Because they drop a trap box up top. The uh, trap floor. So there is a silver silver flame optional to like rescue uh, silver flame, I don't know, soldiers. An altar burns they, bright I'm not going to do it, obviously. Why would I risk failing? As you approach the altar, a brimstone gate. Okay, here's side number two. Get our ball out. Several silver flame adherents stand here, worshiping the vampire of curse. Okay, fine. That was a bit nerve-wracking. I was afraid that something might hit me and activate my my crusade and my crusade buff. Start attacking things. Okay. Now we head back into the main hall and we go upstairs. Do the three optional rooms. There we go. They open up. By the way, this part above us will be there soon. Up top, there's three rooms. I know I'm not getting XP for this, but I still have to do the traps. You can go either way you want. There's two passageways that lead to the same exact room. Come off on the other side if you want, also. Three small burning yeah, so now we need to get this three of these that we need to open up. So, While their flames burn, let's go. Aldetto's chamber is sealed. This floor breaks if you uh, don't disable the trap. You can always just jump it. There's another floor breaks over here. weave through tainted green mist. An altar burns on the opposite side. You need to kill all these specters in order to drop that bubble. But I missed the box here. Yeah. You can jump across these things, but if you lag, you like have a second, one second to hitch, you'll fall down. Okay, activate altar one. The flames of the altar flicker and dim. The 
first skull is sunk. Yeah, so there's like the center room here, green, center over here, and there's the other one over here. Uh, we're above one of the rooms where we fought one of the clones. Okay, off to room number two. High above the entrance hall. Yeah, the entrance hall indeed. Is crisscrossed by bone walkways. Across the room, an altar burns behind the portcullis. Just making sure I got all the stuff before I uh, start. I don't want to get inter interrupted. Made it. Timing really isn't that hard. Wait for both gates to close. Okay, now I'm gonna activate the altar. The second skull falls dark with the extinguishing of the altar's green flames. Let me out. All right, I need to let myself out. Okay, so part's done. We got one more green room. This looks like a floor that can break. After you do it enough times and you fall in enough times, you kind of like know. Okay, this is supposed to be a one way. Okay, altar number three. As its magic sears the crypt, Maldetto's chamber is open. So here you're not supposed to be able to get back up. You're supposed to just jump down and walk back up, but you can actually like catch over here. I mean, not catch, but there's like a little bit of a ledge you can stand on and get back out. And there we go. We've unlocked this. I don't forget to take a screen capture. You gotta have With something. The skulls extinguished. The shaft below is now open. Really hoping I can get the uh, get the optional by not killing any silver flame soldiers. If you do, there's an optional chest. I really want to just get it at least once.
Oh, no. Where is he? I almost had him. I heard him. Keeps on teleporting away, that's what's so annoying about him. Come on, just stop moving. Finally. Guy <laughs> nearly gave me a heart attack. The commander breathes a sigh of relief. Glad his ordeal is over. Oh, this is where this chest spawns, finally. I get to see the optional chest. Of course, no random loot, but there's some, like, named loot that can come over here. Blood Rage Trinket and stuff like that. I'm gonna reroll. Well, it was worth a shot. Finish the quest. Your fingers wrap around the final tome. Its power barely contained. All right, I need to click on this thing. Here's my trinket. Emerald Claw. Now I've got the level 11 version of it. If I do Abbot now, I can get another uh, armor. Thousand of Defiance. I don't know, whatever that is. There should be something here. Yeah, 17 minutes, not bad. Well, it's a relief to get this quest done. Well, let's go turn in the quest. And the other one I'm going to do after this is the, probably the one who's giving me the most grief so far. But it has to be done. So that I hit 400 favor now. Let's see, Patreons, Patrons, Patreons, Patrons, whatever you call it. Silver Flame, Silver Flame. Nope. Oh, maybe yes. I don't know. Doesn't always update right away. Where is this quest? Oh, here it is. One second, I've got to got to update something. This is garbage. Those here. You think I'm above about what I'm about to do now? You're mistaken. Check this out. Go to Cliff Tower. 
cliff top. Talk to the Vecna Unleashed guy. I want something from the ultimate bundle and I want uh, where at. Okay. And we're going to take the where at. Dump it here. Get off in house. Yeah. Elite. Yeah, this simple quest has given me so much trouble. Fight. 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 Rushes into the canyon. It's an ambush. Hey, got Scorpion Exterminator. Nice. So let's see. Let's see if I put them over here. Too bad I can't just tell them to like protect one of the. The, what's it called? The car, uh, crates, carts, whatever they're called. Yeah, I really don't have a good strategy for this quest, which is unfortunate. Let's see if what happens if I stand them over here. Will they protect this area? as if the ambush has only just begun. Seems like he's doing a good job. So how about I'll put You come stand here. Hey, you're supposed to attack. It seems to take forever for my hirelings to like start moving and attacking. They're just like standing around and not doing anything. The past 
four minutes have felt like an eternity. Well, yes, they did. Kurim keep coming. Well, I guess the were rat is not very good when it comes to defending. I'm debating if it's faster for me to go for a melee weapon. The odd thing is I've done this many, many times solo with like uh, different characters and I haven't had too much problem, but apparently I'm remembering it wrong because it's always been my main character who's done it and not like some kind of a off character. So this is like an alt really. I mean, there's only a second life on this character, so. Sneaky guys keep on getting behind uh, these caravans and attacking them from the side. Six minutes of continuous assault have passed. Surely the Valkurum forces must be depleted. Don't know about the Valkurum forces, but I know my patience is depleting. They've gotten everyone. Need to go check and see if my main character on the main server, or on Orion, do I have that extra elf or whatever it is I just killed up top over there. weapon I'm using right now is just basically it's a blank of a uh, dinosaur, bo dinosaur bone weapon there is nothing in it I haven't slotted any augments in it I need to really go farm out some augments There is something about it when they break a few of them, it becomes easier to defend the rest because they get tighter and closer. But once it gets out of control Finally, and they start breaking too many, slaughter, the, he, the whole thing just falls apart. To be I've literally failed this at least three times and the last time I failed it, I was like a few seconds away from finishing. I didn't see them, but I saw the caravan being attacked and I knew they were there. But you stand right over here.
The annoying thing on Alitas, they have actually a lot of damage. The caravans don't get more damage. They're not more buffed up, so they basically start taking damage much faster. And every time they hit it really hard, things break, so. Super big problem. Okay, almost there, and here's where the the nerves start kicking in. Because I've been here before and failed. The ground thunders three times in rapid succession. Oh my gosh, finally. The Volkurim are retreating. Speak to Low City to continue your journey. Okay, let's get our loot. I mean, this is just low level trash loot, but whatever. Something I'm curious about while I'm at it. So this is officially blocked off. I'm not saying there's no way to get up, I'm just saying that officially it's blocked off. What about here? I'm wondering if there's some way to get up. Usually the answer is yes, there is. Sometimes it's more obvious than other times. Okay, fine. Good enough for me. Hopefully I've got some kind of something I can use to make a screen capture. Anyway, fine. Talk. There you go. Anyway, so that's going to be it. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, I'm going to go... Uh, sorry. I'm going to go and do some more for uh, founding members now. Anyway, so take care. Bye.